All right, guys, what's up? Austin Mizworski here, and today I'm going to be bringing you my top five favorite metal slash rock albums that have came out in 2018. Now, this isn't like an official list or a list I pulled off a website or anything like that. This is just my personal top five favorite albums that have came out. So, number five on my list is Beartooth Disease album. It's an album that I really like. Can't remember when it came out, but I've been listening to it pretty much not i don't want to say daily but i listen to it on like a weekly basis it's a pretty good album i remember when i first found barracuda i listened to like two or three of their songs on youtube when i found them and then i proceeded to go on spotify and listen to like one of their albums i think it was their newest disgusting album at the time and then after that i listened to their aggressive album and i liked them ever since so yeah number five barracuda's disease album so number four on my list is fit for a king's new dark skies album now, if you don't know who Fit for a King is, they're a really, like, kind of more hardcore, metalcore type of band. A lot of their songs I'd even put in, like, the death metal category, so to speak. But, yeah, they're a really hardcore band. I'm not going to get into the story on how I felt them, because it's kind of funny slash interesting. Someone recommended them to me. But, yeah, their new Dark Skies album was really, really good, I thought. A couple of the songs that, I, that really stuck out for me on that album were... When everything means nothing, especially the part where all the music cuts out and he just screams, Let this destroy me, and it just goes to the breakdown. That part's fucking sick. I'll never forget that part of that song. Let this destroy me! Let this destroy me! But anyways, another song I really liked on that album was their song, Backbreaker, that has like a really, really super long scream at the end. Fun fact, I looked up live videos of that song, and he really can do the scream that long. At first, I thought it was edited. You know, it's probably a little bit edited in the song just to keep it louder and keep it, you know, sounding a little bit better. But live, he actually does do the scream that long. It's pretty sick, so check it out. Number three on the list is Bless the Falls' new album, Hard Feelings. Now, this is a really interesting band that I found because they're metalcore, but I like their mute style of music and the style of production that they go with because it's kind of like a almost cinematic slash kind of inspirational sound to it. Like they got a lot of like, it's like really melodic the way that they do it. So this album kind of stuck out for me. I like a lot of their songs on here. Uh, I found them through their song Cutthroat. I'm sure anybody who is like at all a Bless the Fall fan knows their song Cutthroat, but I think that's one of their first singles they released off the album too, so that's probably another reason why a lot of people know it, but yeah. I, I plan to do covers of their song someday. I don't know exactly when. Uh, their songs are pretty kind of technical, so I'm gonna be gonna take a little bit more work on some of those, but yeah. I would like to cover some songs by them someday, but yeah. Plus the Fall's new Hard Feelings album, definitely a good album on the list. Definitely an album that I like that came out in 2018. So number two on the list now is Parkway Drive's new Reverence album. I remember one of my friends at work told me to look them up. I looked at, somehow I remembered to look them up that night. And I think I heard their song Crushed first. I know how to play that song on drums and I am planning on doing a cover of that song. Although that's not on the new album. But a song on the new album that I also know how to play that I... Probably my favorite song to play right now is their song, Pray. That's that's just one I really love to play. It's just fun. A lot of energy in that song, so that's definitely one I'm going to be covering as well. But yeah, their Reverence album, definitely one of the one albums that I really, really liked in 2018. It's just a good all-around album in my opinion. I plan on covering a lot of the songs that they made on the album and on other albums as well. I'd like to do like the Vice Grip and some of the older stuff off their Eerie album. But yeah... Definitely a Parkway Drive fan. I actually have one of their shirts as well. So yeah, their new Reverence album, really dope album. Plan on doing covers of several of those songs on the album. So yeah, that's an album that I really like. All right, and now for the number one spot on the album. Now there's so many words and so many things to describe this band by. And for some of you, this may be a surprise. But for a lot of you who know me and know what kind of music I listen to, this band won't be a surprise at all. But it's Architects' new Holy Hell album. Now, I plan on covering Ar a lot of Architects songs someday. But Dan Surly is a beast on fucking drums. And a lot of their songs are very, very technical. Very, very complex songs, so to speak. So, 
covering one of those songs is going to be a little bit more of a challenge so i have no idea when i'm ever going to cover an architect song but just know that i am planning on it but yeah their holy hell album definitely my favorite album to come out in 2018 listen to it on a daily basis not even joking literally it's the whole album is in my metalcore playlist which i listen to at work almost every single day so yeah i essentially technically listen to the album on a daily basis so not only that but this was the only album that came out in 2018 that I liked every single song on. There's not a bad song on the album, in my opinion. So, yeah, love the album to death. Love Architects. There's like a 90% chance I'm going to see them in May live. So that'll be really, really fucking sick. I'm pretty much excited slash stoked to do that. There's a really good chance of it happening. So really excited for that. But yeah, Architects new Holy Hell album. Definitely my favorite album to come out this year. Sam Carter is an absolute beast on vocals. I've never heard anything like his vocals before. His vocal range and ability is just fucking mind-blowing out of this world. Not to mention the riffs are all killer fucking riffs. Like Doomsday is that fucking riff. And that, there's just the whole instrumental side and lyric side of the entire album are just fucking outstanding, phenomenal work. I'm really, really excited to see what what they come with in the future because I'm a huge Architects fan, obviously. I remember my, the day my friend showed me them and I just like proceeded to just binge listen to like all their music. I like a lot of their newer stuff. A lot of their older stuff is good as well. But yeah, Architects, definitely a huge fan of them. Definitely going to be following them for a very long time and definitely a fan of their new Holy Hell album. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you like some of this list. Let me know if you listen to some of these bands or if some of these bands interested you. Um, if you don't know th these bands at all and you're kind of interested in looking them up, check them out. See if you like them. But anyways, let me know what your top five albums of 2018 are. It could be metalcore, it could be rock, it could be whatever, you know, even if you're not a fan of any of this type of music and you listen to rap, you know, just share what you listened to in 2018 down below. I'd like to see what you guys are into as well. So yeah, those are my top five albums of 2018. And I look forward to 2019 and seeing what bands come out within 2019 so that I can make a video at the end of the year again slash beginning of the next year. So yeah, looking forward to seeing what these bands come out with this year and looking forward to new music that's going to be coming out as well. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Also stay tuned for drum covers. I will 99.9% .9 for sure have a drum cover out next weekend sometime. Like I said, new parts coming in on monday so i'll probably get to recording it monday night edit the video up and do whatnot and get it out so yeah look forward to that as well and i guess i'll catch you guys in the next video see you